Today at the tasting table, I channel my inner cookie monster. What I'll be doing today is tasting Insomnia Cookies nine standard cookie flavors, at least the nine they had at the Fed Hill shop uh, in Baltimore. If you're not familiar with Insomnia Cookies, it is a popular cookie spot, specifically amongst the younger population, um, college age people generally, um, because they serve cookies up until 3 a.m. They also have some deluxe cookies, but like I said, I took the nine standard ones. If you guys are worried about price point, because I have had that question come up, we were able to get a dozen cookies and a small ice cream for under 20 bucks. We did have like a $5 off coupon. Now, the nine cookies we will be sampling today are double chocolate mint, chocolate chunk, double chocolate chunk, classic with M&Ms, oatmeal raisin, peanut butter chip, snickerdoodle, sugar, and white chocolate macadamia. And with that said, let's get things started with cookie number one. First cookie we will be trying out of the nine is the double chocolate mint. Um, smell, it smells delicious. It kind of smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. So let me take a bite and see what's going on with this one. Very good. A little dense. But it is good. If you're looking to have some fresh breath, maybe you're taking out your date for some dessert and your breath wants to smell good, get one of these, these what is it called? Double mint chip. This is good stuff. I'm gonna take another bite. 7.5. That's solid. I'm gonna slide that here and there. It could move down, it could move up. Cookie number two. Cookie number two, we have chocolate chunk. Uh, so this is really just a traditional chocolate chip cookie. Smells like a chocolate chip cookie. Let's see. Um, hmm. Once you get that chocolate, it's great. But it took me a few bites to get into that chocolate. Um, with that said, thank you, Rosa, for the sound effects. Don't even need to edit that in. <laughs> the, this is better than this. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm a traditionalist, but this is better. I'm already going to start sliding these down. I'm giving this, though, a 7.9. It's not incredible, but it's very good. It's better than, obviously, if you go to the grocery store and get a Chips Ahoy or even a Famous Amos if you want to go that route. That's better. Cookie number three. The next cookie we have up is the double chocolate chunk. So I think it's basically the same as this original chocolate chip. They just made the batter more chocolate, as you can tell by the color. Um, so let's dig into this one. That is, oh, it's good. So I have not had a bad cookie yet, but there is absolutely too much chocolate happening here. There's so much chocolate, it's kind of making, it's having a peanut butter effect where my mouth is like struggling to chew. It's not as good as these two. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna give it a 5.5. Still good, above average. Definitely, like all of these so far, knock out of the ballpark a traditional kind of cookie as you think of it. Um, but we're gonna move on to our next one. I'm excited about cookie number four because it's the classic, which is the best one so far, but it's adding M&Ms in here, which I'm a fan of. Mm. Mm. I don't know what they did with this dough here. It's cookie dough. Camera woman, help me out. It's cookies made of dough. What is it, batter? Is it batter or is it dough? It's dough. Cookie dough. Cookie dough, yeah. right, thank you. I'm not stupid, I promise, cookie dough. The dough they use here came out much softer than this one. And I don't know if that's to do with the cook time or the consistency, but I'm a fan of the the kind of, the soft little squishy, mushy cookie. And here's a squishy cookie. So that's going here. 
Um, 8.3. Rosa, don't whine about the cookies. 8.3. Move on to the next one. I have no idea why this cookie exists. We are moving on to oatmeal raisin. If you are under the age of 65, I don't know why you're eating this with all the cookies in the world. Um, there is nothing more disappointing. And this is not, not um, hyperbolic. To think of cookies a chocolate chip and to bite it and it's oatmeal raisin. There is nothing worse in the world. <sighs> Why are raisins ever in a cookie? It, it just doesn't, the texture is terrible. Because the oatmeal, if it was just an oatmeal cookie, it wouldn't be bad. But having those like gelatinous raisin bites in there, I don't, this is serving some kind of audience. That audience is not me. That is, oh, it's stuck in my molars. That's a two. It's edible. The texture is horrid. Next cookie. We are moving on to peanut butter chip. Peanut butter is a top five food. If you don't think it's a top five food, you're like, your opinions to me don't matter. It is so good and I am so excited to take a bite of this. Oh. Hmm. Kind of dry. Not gonna lie. That peanut butter flavor comes through, but the cookie's much harder than these soft ones over here. All right. It's better than this. It's not better than those, though. I'm gonna slide it right here. This was a 7.5. I'll give that like a 7.7. 7.75, let's split the difference between seven and eight. And let, seven and a half and eight. And let's move on to the next cookie. Up next we have our snickerdoodle cookie. You'll see down here we made some modifications. There were nine cookies, not 10. So we got rid of the 10 spot, no big deal. Um, but I'm excited for this snickerdoodle cookie. It's got, it's got some flair on it. The only reason I didn't finish that is there needed to be something to be put on that napkin. That is a 9.7. That is the best cookie by far so far. And quite frankly, it's one of the best cookies I've ever had. No exaggeration. That is a fantastic, fantastic cookie. Um, that will be consumed immediately after we cut shooting. But moving on to the next one. Trying to top that snickerdoodle goodness. We have our traditional sugar cookie. I will say very soft in the middle. And you guys know I'm a fan of that little squishy ishy in the middle. So let's take a bite. Let the diabetes times roll. I'm having fun here. That Slide to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Now I need to decide between. Mm. It's not gonna beat that snickerdoodle. The snickerdoodle has more flavor happening, but if this is the best sugar cookie I've ever had, hands down, e easily. Um, World War Z erupted. I'm giving this a nine. Solid nine, but it's no snickerdoodle. 9.3, let me not be disrespectful. 9.3. We got one more cookie left. Next up we have something called a macadamia nut cookie. I have heard of this in uh, far, far worlds. Um, I did not know this existed in Baltimore or this is a thing that people ever put in cookies. With that said, I'm gonna give it a shot. It can't be worse than oatmeal raisin, so let's see. Oh, God. It requires me to get some dental work. Oh, 
gonna be a problem. Nah, no, 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 that's no good. I don't, the nut tastes bad. I don't like that. I'm gonna pour up my entire filling that I got put in a few weeks ago. It's not as bad as the oatmeal raisin, because I can handle the texture of this of this nut better than that squishy raisin. Mm, no good. I'm gonna give that 3.2 though. It wasn't good. Here we have our official Insomnia cookie rankings based on the nine standard flavors they had at the Fed Hill Baltimore shop. Bringing up the real, we got the rear, not the real. We got oatmeal raisin and we got that macadamia nut. Those were in a tier below the rest. Um, if you like chocolate a lot, this double chocolate chunk will be for you, but it was a little too much. This mint one, fresh breath. It's still sitting a little bit back there. That was good. Peanut butter was a little dry. They need to do something with that. The flavor was great, but the texture was dry. Um, these top four just had the soft, kind of uh, texture I'm looking for in this snickerdoodle. Let me tell you, that made me have wild, wild thoughts and left some some remnants in the beard. I don't know, I have every, every cookie sitting in here. But that's Insomnia Cookie. Overall, this is, this is a high quality cookie. This is better than what you would get from the grocery store, even in the bakery aisle. It's better than you would get from obviously like a Chips Ahoy, um, Famous Amos, any brand like that that's already been pre-made and packaged. They are solid, so you should hit them up if you haven't. Get the Snickerdoodle, get the sugar cookie, and get the chocolate chunk or, or the chocolate chunk with M&M's. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Um, coming out soon, I'm gonna have to back this up with a video that I'm not gonna enjoy as much as eating cookies, um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy. Thanks for the support. Um, until next time, this was T-Jax on Insomnia Cookies.